So it means free programming. I'm gonna turn my power off and I unplug it. Hopefully I won't disconnect any of my cables and just let my drive hang and I will connect the USB port to the drive and show you how that works. So what I did was I just powered down the drive, unplugged my encoder cable because it, it's a little bit short and let my, my drive hang there with the power wiring that powers off and I just plug into the back printer port. So here you can't, you can't go into the drive and manipulate parameters individually, but you can connect to it. It automatically pops up. You can upload, you can download, and you can flash. So I'm just gonna upload, and I'm gonna say upload drive parameter data and hit next. I'm gonna save it on my desktop and say 525 webinar. And just hit upload. So that's how quick it uploads. The upload's complete, it's done. So downloads just as just as fast. I have never tried to flash the drive through this. The, so this port, I've always flashed it through the Ethernet, and I don't have a flash file to flash it. But if you if you have a repetitive number of drives where you're maybe you're an OEM or you've got a, a fan or project where there's several of the same size, this is pretty convenient. You just plug it into it. Somebody could be wiring and installing the power module, hooking up the, the incoming and, and, and line side and load side to the motor while you have these on your desk and you just program them and simply download them and go, go slap them in, they wire them up, they're ready to go. So I just wanted to demonstrate that, how, how easy that was to use. 